Hello everyone, welcome to my study channel Chemistry. Subscribe my channel by clicking on subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss any updates. Hello everyone, so today I am going to tell you the easiest process of conversion from formic acid to acetic acid and also the reverse process that is from acetic acid to formic acid. So let's get into the video. I hope all of you know the formula of formic acid as well as the acetic acid. So first write down the formula HCWOH. This is formic acid and CH3COH. This is acetic acid. So first let's convert from formic acid to acetic acid. You can see in formic acid only one carbon atom is here. And acetic acid two carbon atoms are there so from here to here if you want to convert then you have to increase the number of the carbon atoms right so let's start the process this is acid formic acid write the name then it will be easy to understand formic acid if you do reduction of any acid then that acid converts into alcohol here the alcohol will be methanol okay here it is methanol then in methanol if you add pcl5 that is phosphorus pentachloride then this oh group will be replaced by chlorine and you will get the product ch3cl that is methyl chloride <coughs> okay now in methyl chloride if you add potassium cyanide then this chlorine will be replaced by cyanide group and the product will be CH3CN that is methyl cyanide. Okay. Now in methyl cyanide if you add H2O plus then the cyanide group will convert into acid group. And you will get the product acetic acid that is our desired product right so this is the first process of conversion from formic acid to acetic acid four step process first step reduction acid converts into alcohol then at PCL5 alcohol convert into methyl chloride then add KCN potassium cyanide CL group will be replaced by cyanide group then add water H2O plus then cyanide will convert into acetic acid now let's do the reverse process that is from acetic acid to formic acid now you can see if you convert acetic acid to formic acid here two carbon atoms here only one carbon atom so you have to remove or reduce one carbon atom from here to here so let's start the process first what to do add ammonia and apply heat you will get amide acid will convert into amide here the amide is acetamide okay now in acetamide if you add br2 and koh that is Hoffman bromide reaction then CO will be eliminated and you will get amine here the amine is methyl amine okay now in methyl amine if you add nitrous acid or you can also add sodium nitrite and HCl because sodium nitrite and HCl reacts with each other and form nitrous acid. So you can write this one or this one. Then this amine group will convert into alcohol. CH3OH. Here it is methanol. Right. Now in methanol, if you do partial oxidation, by using PCC okay partial oxidation <coughs> then alcohol will convert into 
aldehyde. Here the aldehyde is formaldehyde. Right? Now again do oxidation. Then formaldehyde will convert into formic acid. HCWOH. That one is our desert product. Right? Or else you can also do full oxidation by using KMNO4. Right? Then also you will get formic acid. Okay? So this is the process of conversion from acetic acid to getting formic acid. Right? I hope this process is helpful to you all. If it is helpful then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also like the video and share this video as much as possible with your friends and students. Thank you so much.